students so in this uh, lecture we are going to talk about some of the syndromes in oral pathology and oral medicine okay so first we'll start with peri romberg syndrome so what is peri romberg syndrome so what you can diagnose from seeing the picture of the patients here two patients i have um, pictures of two patients i have given here what we can diagnose there are some similarities right one half of the side of face is atrophied atrophied means wasting away so this is peri romberg syndrome is facial hemi atrophy okay i'll just change the color yeah black will be better i guess so facial hemi atrophy so this you can see this part of her face is atrophied wasted away wasted away or deteriorated this part okay and this part is normal so you can see here also this part is deteriorated or atrophied hmm? and the other side is normal so this is peri rhombach syndrome in this patient also you can see this part is atrophied this part is atrophied okay so this is peri romberg syndrome so you have to immediately identify once you see this picture there is there should be no um, duality in your mind that whether this is peri romberg syndrome or some other syndrome just mark it peri romberg syndrome facial hemi atrophy remember this picture keep it in your mind that this is a picture of uh, peri romberg syndrome the next is van der waard syndrome so van der waard syndrome again uh, what does it contain see pits of lower lip pits you can see pits here of lower lip these are the pits you can see two pits here so pits of lower lip and cleft of palate so palate uh, you can see here a uh, hard palate and uh, there is cleft and it can include lip also sometimes okay so lip also now one thing more wonder word uh, here word is phonetically similar to one right so word is related to defect in chromosome one okay remember this chromosome one so word is phonetically similar to one and it is a defect of chromosome one so what does it include pits of lower lip and cleft of palate sometimes sleep also next let's see the next syndrome this is known as asher syndrome okay so what does asher syndrome include acquired double lip so you can see here there is double lip this is one lip right and this is another lip so this is known as acquired double lip next we have got blepharochalasis what does blepharochalasis means inflammation of the eye lid inflammation of the eye lid see you can see here inflammation of the eye lid this is known as blepharochalasis fine third non toxic thyroid enlargement so there is some thyroid enlargement in this uh, syndrome asher syndrome you have to remember this name asher syndrome in the beginning it might be uh, li uh, little bit tough for you to remember the names of the syndrome but later it will become easier as long as um, as much as you keep on practicing remembering them it will become easier for you it won't be tough so asher syndrome is acquired double lip blepharochalasis non toxic thyroid enlargement fine yes this looks very scary right uh, yeah so this is known as mesher syndrome mesher syndrome this is idiopathic painless uh, all right where it is yeah it's not visible mm, i'll take some other pen uh, black will be better so idiopathic enlargement of the lower of the lips not only lower lips so this uh, idiopathic enlargement of the lower lips is known as cellulitis granulomatosa 
and this is known as Mesher's syndrome fine next so uh, can you diagnose something uh, seeing this patient so you can see the patient has facial paralysis you can identify see this is normal and this picture you can identify that the patient had got facial paralysis and what can we can see what else we can see we can see this uh, lips cellitis granulomatosa what do we mean by that that is enlargement of the lips okay enlargement of the lips and what else one more is there which we cannot see here we have to see through another picture see here Mel this syndrome is known as melkerson rosenthal syndrome and what are the symptoms included here cellitis granulomatosa i told you it's enlargement of the lips facial paralysis i told you and scrotal tongue i have not told you so this is the picture of scrotal tongue so see you can see fissures in this tongue so this is known as scrotal tongue okay so these are the symptoms of melkerson rosenthal syndrome so this is all for this uh, video we will see some more syndromes in our next video thank you